Congratulations on the film. Thank you. Again. Um, I remember when I was a kid, and this is showing my age now, how excited I was to see Michael Keaton as Batman. So I was going to ask you first, who were the heroes of your childhood? Was there a comic book hero that you loved as a kid, or was there another sort of cartoon or anything as a kid that you... Uh, it was Spider-Man. Um, Wolverine. Uh, there's someone in the DCU, but we're going to stay in Marvel, so... But if you know, you know. <laughs> and that's it. Mm -hmm. Really, those three for me. I would say, I would say Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire mm -hmm. um, was sort of my introduction into the world of Spider-Man. And it's so crazy to now be here and a part of this and see how things have come full circle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was just talking about backsta uh, backstage, just in the press room because of my age. Like we only ever had Superman and Batman as like mm. big screens. And now it's kind of like everywhere. It's kind of cool. And Tobey Maguire is the one. Everyone always says the, G the goat is Tobey Maguire. I don't <laughs> well, know Andrew Garfield He started it, you know? He started it. He's so good at Spider-Man. Yeah. The reaction when he came back in that, in that movie and the screen mm. I was in was just, was just insane. Um, I remember listening to Tom Hanks on Graham Norton talk about when he did Toy Story about the recording in the booth and the floating heads in the booth and the talk back and them talking about you without you hearing them and all that kind of stuff. So I wondered if you guys had any, any Wait, fun stories of being heads? in the booth. What's the floating heads thing? So the people in the booth mm -hmm. who oh. turn who oh, turn the talk oh, back off mm -hmm. and then they start talking about you right. and then go, hey, Haley, that was great. Yes. <laughs> Did you have any fun stories from that experience? We always had our filmmakers in the in, room, yeah, yeah. which I feel is like so great because it, right. it feels a lot less isolated um, and it feels, it's it's always felt like such a, a collaborative effort and like we're in a space where we are free to be who we are and bring to these roles parts of ourselves that they really want to to shine through. Um, so, yeah, nothing, nothing too awkward on the talk back. Yeah, <laughs> you did have to do it during COVID because I know a lot of people. I spoke to people who did animations over uh, what, we COVID did. that they had to do it in like their closet or something. Oh, there was yeah, there there were there were multiple occasions where I'd get like a last minute call from yeah. Chris or Phil being like, "Hey, find yourself a closet, oh, yeah. uh, record yeah. these three lines, and then delete all of these messages." <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, and there's there's so many characters in this. And this is me being a fanboy, but there's another film coming out that's multiversal and they include, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, but there's an old, didn't happen, but could have happened hero. Mm -hmm. Did you know there is a Spider-Man that almost happened, didn't happen, that I thought might have, have appeared? Do you know about the long forgotten Leonardo mm -hmm. DiCaprio Spider-Man? Mm -hmm. So in the 80s, James Cameron was going to do Spider-Man with Leonardo DiCaprio and Arnold Schwarzenegger as Doc Ock. And I was just like, in this multiversal thing, it would have been so cool to see that. Wait, so there's Is something in... we need to unpack what you were just talking about. <laughs> so in the eight, so you know, uh, in Spider-Man One, yes. he shoots the webs out of his. That was James Cameron's idea, because in okay. the comics, okay. he obviously makes it. Right. So that was one of the things that came into 2002. So in the eighties, he wanted to make a Spider-Man film. Leonardo DiCaprio was going to play Spider-Man. Arnold Schwarzenegger was going to play Doc Ock. And was this just mentioned in something else? You it nearly, ha it very nearly happened. Yeah, there was like pre-production all that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, and so you were saying I was maybe just thinking was it's one of those shot. cool things as a as a fan. I was just like, that would have been such a cool oh, nugget. Man. Maybe in part three That's he insane. will. Insane, yeah. Isn't that cool? That's yeah. cool. I always thought it was a cool story. I was looking, there's so many. First time I've heard it. Is it really the first yeah. time? Totally. Yeah. Part three. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Get, exactly. Give Leo a call, see what he's <laughs> see what he's doing. And one of the things I loved about this movie was Gwen and Miles' relationship and how they've both, you know, evolved and their relationship was involved. Coming back, how excited were you to read that script and to see the evolution of, of the two of them together? Uh, well, we never got a script in full, um, so we were just excited to, to get the bullet points and the quick Zoom convos and the, you know, tidbits here and there. It was really a, a, a matter of making these discoveries as we were going along, and Shamik and I had the chance to record in the booth together, which we didn't the first time around, and that made such a difference, and I, I feel specifically just in that evolution of these characters. Um, you, can, you can feel it, and you can hear it, and that's really exciting. Have you been able to get your dolls yet, or your action figures of your characters? Have you got oh, the, yeah. the, the variants of yeah. costumes? Because obviously Miles had a couple of different costumes now. Yeah. Have you got them lined up somewhere? Mm -hmm. Are they your Oscars? In my, <laughs> yeah, somewhere, right. yeah. In my apartment, uh, yeah, we actually have been keeping all the, the uh, merch that we get in just kind of putting it up on one of the shelves. I don't have a lot of books. I do audio books. So the bookshelf is full of like, you know, memorabilia. <laughs> That's so cool. I mentioned Oscars because I feel like in a year's time, this one might have one. Thank we'll you. see. Guys, congrats. Good luck with the movie. Thanks Thank so much you for so your time. Much. Good Pleasure to see you again. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> 
Hey, that's what they all say. Oh, you go.